Hey, welcome back. Today I have another Walmart haul. These are fall new arrivals. So I have a lot of sweaters, some knits, I have a dress, I have a jacket, and a couple of pants. So if you wanna see Walmart's latest fall arrivals, then just keep on watching. So as always, all the items that I'm gonna be sharing with you today will be linked down below in the description box. I've also added it to the first pinned comment down below just to make it a little bit easier for you to find. I've also included my sizing that I have gotten here, but you wanna keep watching because there are some sizing discrepancies here that I am going to reveal to you. So let's go ahead and get started with our first item, which is this sweater that I actually got in two different colors so initially I know I'm not a colors girl but this red kind of just spoke to me for some reason I've been really digging red so as you can see like I've had my red nails for a while now and so when I saw this red sweater I figured you know we can definitely like incorporate that into our neutral wardrobe I thought that this was just a nice sweater I have it here in the size medium and it's funny because I actually got this in two colors so I have it in the this one's called oh hello this one is called high risk red and then this one over here is called whispering white so it comes in I think four colors but I got the the red and the white and the same size they're both medium but for some reason the red felt a little smaller than the white one did. So they are a little bit cropped. They're not super cropped, but they're not long, long. I do love the sleeves, kind of like a bell sleeve, just very nice that they are ribbed on the sleeves and there's also ribbing here on the neckline. But I just thought that these sweaters would look really nice, which is like some denim or even some, you know, even if you have the leopard pants, which are really hot right now, I think paired with this cream colored sweater will look really nice. I styled those sweaters with these jeans, which I really was digging the jeans. These are from Scoop and they only have one wash, which I kind of wish they had multiple washes to choose from, but I really am digging this really dark denim. It also has the cuffed hem down here and it is raw hemmed as well. So it's just like a fun pair of jeans. They are ankle length as well. So I kind of paired it with some clear heels from Target with the sweater and I just really liked the way that they look. These will also look really great with ballet flats. If you are into the, the mesh flats that are really hot right now, I think it'll look really nice. I got it in a size eight here and I think it fits perfectly very nice it's more like of a mid-rise so it's just like a really great pair of jeans and they were less than thirty dollars okay next up i have another sweater let's go with this one right here so this is another sweater that i really liked especially because of these faux pearl buttons here on the cuff they're just really pretty and it just kind of adds a little like interest to just a normal turtleneck sweater it's actually kind of long, but I liked to do like a little half tuck up front. Also the turtlenecks, sometimes turtlenecks tend to like just make me feel like claustrophobic. So I actually tucked in the turtleneck. So it was kind of more of a half turtleneck or a mock neck. And I really liked the way that that looked. I got it here in the size medium and this is in the color oatmeal. Let's go ahead and finish it off with another sweater, which is this one. I really liked this one. This is more of a dolman type of sweater. So the sleeves, as you can see, the cut is just like, you know, a little more oversized, a little boxy, but I really liked this color. This color is called Tempest Blue. I got it here in the size medium and it's just like a nice sweater to have like it's a little bit more oversized i also really liked here on the sleeve the little slit that it has so again just like little details in the sweater that just kind of like you know makes it look different than all the other you know roll neck sweaters that we've been seeing lately but again a little bit more on the longer side which i really liked and appreciate i also liked doing like a little half tuck with the next pair of pants that I got, which are these right here. These are more of a crepe material, so very lightweight. It's gonna be a great transitional piece from summer to fall, and I really love this color. Okay, I had to turn on the lights because it's raining really hard outside and it just got really dark in here, so 
I added some additional lights so you can see me. So let's get back into it. This is the color Sorel Horse. If you don't see yourself wearing pants like this, even though it's still a classic color, I can see that maybe if you tend to go for more like just the black pants, they do have it in the black as well. And there's also like a lighter beige. So you can definitely try those out. These fit really, really great. I got it in a size eight and I thought it was perfect. I also really like the fact that they were not like flooding. So they went all the way down. I, so I styled it with like more of a kitten heel. So although the heel wasn't very high, if you have a smaller heel, you most likely will not be flooding. So I'm 5'6 for size reference. Also, all my sizing is gonna be down below in the description box so that you can kind of compare with things that how they're fitting my body and then kind of like relay that to your body. But I thought these pants fit perfectly. And again, the material, not too thick, not too thin, just like a nice pair of pants. So I really liked pairing this with the Tempest Blue sweater. If you are not in sweater weather yet, then you can definitely go for this blouse. So this blouse I thought was again, just so pretty. And I love the way that this blue paired with the pants. So this is a very nice satin-like material. I, the shoulders do have some padding and there's also these pleats, which again, just kind of elevates the outfits. And then on the back, if you have your hair like in a nice bun, then you can highlight these uh, fabric buttons here on the bag, just a very nice shirt. Also, if the blue is not your style, they do have it in black as well and white. And then there is also the houndstooth prints from the two dresses that I shared in my last Walmart haul. They also have those prints in this top. So if you didn't wanna do those houndstooth dresses, from head to toe, that print, then you can just do the top. And I think it'll look really nice, especially that red and pink one. I just really liked that hound tooth like color combo. But I think this top is so sweet. You Again, you can pair it with pants, you can pair it with jeans. Okay, next up I have this bodysuit from Scoop. So this one was actually described as a rib knit sweater bodysuit. I don't know if I want to say it's sweater-like. I feel like it's more just cotton. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit more insulated, this is not gonna be it. This is a little bit more on the thinner side. So I actually got this one in the size small. I would probably suggest sizing up. The one thing I did like is the torso proportions. Usually, I don't have a long torso, but usually like some bodysuits, they kind of ride up because they're just like, there's not enough fabric. So I appreciate that this one did have enough fabric. Also here, on the sleeves they do have a little detailing so you can see the little buttons there but just a nice like casual top that you can wear now and then you can layer whenever the weather starts to get a little bit cooler throw it on under a sweater or throw a coat or a jacket on top of it and you're ready to go Next up, I have this top, which I was really bummed that it did not fit as I expected it to. So this top is also from Scoop. I got it here in the size medium and I just really loved these puff sleeves, the little peplum um, bottom here. There's also this little cutout and I just had great hopes for this top, but unfortunately, even the medium was just, it felt a little too tight right here. So I would suggest sizing up in this top, but the way that it's constructed, I just love. And I also really appreciate that there's like double lining here. So it's not cheaply made at all. It feels like it's more expensive than something you would find at Walmart. So obviously Walmart's really hitting it out of the ballpark lately. And this top is just super, super sweet. So again, I would recommend sizing up, but definitely do not sleep on this top. Okay, let's move on to my next item, which is this dress. So this sleeve, eh? So this sleeveless dress really caught my eye and I usually will go for like a black. I like sometimes with these dresses, especially if they're white or lighter colored, I feel like they're gonna be see-through. But again, like Walmart got a really good material. Like you cannot see through this dress. This one also does come in black if that is more your jam, but I really like this one. And I'm really surprised that I got it in a small. Usually with bodycon dresses, I like to size up. I would still probably size up in this dress, even though it fit just fine, but just for like comfort, I feel like I would like the medium probably a little bit better. There is a little slit here 
on the bottom. And again, another piece that you can definitely wear right now when it's still hot and then transition really nicely into the fall. So although I styled this with some heels, you can definitely swap them out for some knee high boots and throw on a blazer or a jacket on top of it or even like a longer coat and I think it'll look really, really nice. I love this color as well because it's not a stark white, it's more of a creamy ecru color. So very nicely constructed dress, like it's very flattering on. But again, I would say size up one, especially if you're a little bit more self-conscious and you know, especially with body con dresses, but very, very nice dress. Okay, and next I have this jacket. So I had my eye on this bomber jacket. I really love this color. This type of faded brown color is really hot for fall right now. So instead of going for the usual like, black moto jacket that's always coming back into our fall wardrobes. I think this will be a nice little update to your outerwear. So this one also does come in black if black is more your color, but I really liked this distressed brown. It's a little bit more cropped than I would have liked. I wish it was a little bit more oversized. I even got it in the size large. And while yes, it fits great, I think maybe even an extra large would have been a better fit just because I tend to like some of these outerwear pieces to be really big and oversized. But again, the material really nice. There is a lining on the inside and it's a really great fit, just like a really nice jacket to, especially to swap out in lieu of your moto jackets, uh, black moto jackets, or even like your oversized denim jackets. You can definitely swap them out for this one for a more updated fresh fall look. There you have it. Those are my latest Walmart fall new arrivals. I hope you found a little bit of inspiration for the new fall season. I know we're all looking forward to all the cozies and just like cooler weather. Honestly, you can keep your PSLs and give me all the cooler weather because I just need a break from this heat and humidity. I am really looking forward to just wearing some chunky knits and some jackets and some jeans and some boots. But overall, I am very impressed with Walmart's collection. Scoop is just hitting it out of the ballpark, doing so, so good. Let me know in the comments which item is your favorite and go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I hope y'all have a wonderful day and we'll chat soon. Bye.